Britney Spears got her fiancé Sam Asghari to get a facial with her, he cheerfully revealed on his Insta stories this weekend. Sam could be seen having product smeared on his face as he captioned, What she makes me do, with the expressionless emoji. This is Clinique and it's my favorite facial, said Britney while she applied it to her fiancé who asked, Why is it itchy? During his stories Britney, whose whole complexion was covered in cream, appeared in the frame and affectionately leaned on his shoulder. He also took the opportunity to post a picture of Britney showing off the glittering 4 carat engagement ring he has given her. They have been together for years since becoming acquainted in 2016 during the shoot of her music video for Slumber Party. Sam proposed this month with a ring that has his nickname for her lioness engraved in the inside of the band, per Entertainment Tonight. The posts come on the heels of bombshell claims made about Britney's conservatorship in a New York Times documentary released on Friday. A security firm hired by Britney Spears' father monitored the pop singer's phone calls and text messages during the court-sanctioned conservatorship she has lived under since 2008, according to the film. In controlling Britney Spears, Alex Vlasov, a former black box security employee who said he worked with the singer's team for nearly nine years, said the company had access to Spears' phone and installed a listening device in her bedroom. An attorney for Jamie Spears, who runs his daughter's conservatorship, didn't deny the surveillance but said it was well within the parameters of the authority conferred upon him by the court. According to Vlasov, Black Box mirrored the pop singer's phone on an iPad by logging into her iCloud account, giving them access to all of her activity and any messages she sent, including text messages and emails. He told the filmmakers that he was asked to encrypt some of Spears' text conversations so they could be sent to her father, Jamie Spears, and an employee of a business management firm he had hired. When Vlasov questioned the monitoring, he said he was told that Spears' communications were reviewed for her own security and protection and that the court overseeing the conservatorship was aware of it, as was her attorney at the time. The monitoring included discussions between Spears and her attorney, Sam Ingham, according to Vlasov. Their reason for minoring was looking for bad influences, looking for potential illegal activity that might happen, but they would also monitor conversations with her friends, with her mom, with her lawyer Sam Ingham. If there's anybody that should be off limits, it should be Britney's lawyer, Vlasov said. Her own phone and her own private conversations were used so often to control her. I know for a fact that Jamie would confront Britney and say, hey why didn't you text this person? He claimed. Just because you're in control doesn't give you the right to treat people like property. It didn't feel like she was being treated like a human being. A lawyer for Black Box Security President Eden Yemeni, in a statement shown in the documentary, said, Mr. Yemeni and Black Box have always conducted themselves within professional, ethical and legal bounds, and they are particularly proud of their work keeping M's. Spears safe for many years. According to the documentary, the audio recorder captured over 180 hours of audio, including Britney's interactions and conversations with her boyfriend and her children, which Vlasov apparently has at his disposal to prove the degree of surveillance Spears was under. He suggested that Yemeni was worried about the contents of the recording and asked him to wipe it clean. I asked what was on it, Yemeni and another employee, seemed very nervous and said it was extremely sensitive, that nobody can ever know about this and that's why I need to delete everything on it, so there's no record of it, he recounted. 
that raised so many red flags with me and I did not want to be complicit in whatever they were involved in, so I kept a copy because I didn't want to delete evidence, and I don't think it was a coincidence it was done days before she was due to meet with a court investigator. Vivian Thorine, an attorney for Jamie Spears, did not discuss specific allegations, but said that his actions were well within the parameters of the authority conferred upon him by the court, and were done with knowledge and consent of Brittany, her court-appointed attorney and or the court. Jamie's record as conservator, and the court's approval of his actions, speak for themselves, Thorin added, saying Jamie Spears had helped his daughter rehabilitate her career and improve her financial situation. Vlasov claimed that Yemeni was relieved when the first New York Times documentary on Spears didn't mention the surveillance she was allegedly under. Eden, Yemeni, was so relieved when he saw the first documentary that he wasn't mentioned, Black Box wasn't mentioned, TriStar wasn't mentioned, Vlasov said. It was his biggest fear that security would somehow draw any attention. TriStar is the entertainment group founded by Spears' former business manager Lou Taylor, whom Vlasov claimed was involved in every step that Britney took. The security member alleged that Spears' father was in constant communication with the team surveilling about her every action. There was a group chat with Eden, TriStar employee, Robin, Greenhill, and Jamie and security where they would basically post all the movement, Vlasov claimed. Even in the sacred place, her home, every single request was monitored and recorded. Her intimate relations were closely managed. Brittany could not have someone in the privacy of her house without those three people knowing. The security team even allegedly supervised Spears' medication, presenting it to her each day and requiring her to take it in their presence. When I took a step back and I looked at everything, it really reminded me of somebody that was in prison and security was put in a position to be the prison guards, essentially, Vlasov said. Spears is fighting to end her conservatorship which her father Jamie set up in 2008 to oversee her personal affairs and roughly $60 million estate after she suffered a mental breakdown. The stronger singer said in June that the arrangement was abusive and humiliating. In a surprise move earlier in September, Jamie Spears said that he supported ending the conservatorship because circumstances had changed. A hearing on the case is scheduled for Wednesday in Los Angeles Superior Court. Spears' new attorney, Matthew Rosengard, said in a statement that he would investigate the new allegations. Any unauthorized intercepting or monitoring of Britney's communications, especially attorney-client communications, which are a sacrosanct part of the legal system, would represent a shameful violation of her privacy rights and a striking example of the deprivation of her civil liberties, Rosengart said. Placing a listening device in Britney's bedroom would be particularly inexcusable and disgraceful, and corroborates so much of her compelling, poignant testimony, he continued. These actions must be fully and aggressively investigated. Controlling Britney Spears was released Friday night on the FX cable network and on Hulu. It follows a documentary by the same filmmakers, called Framing Britney Spears, which debuted in February and helped spark new interest in the case.